So now I'm going to show you how to load the files you want to use into one file into Photoshop and then we're going to play around with the layout a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to come right up here to file and I'm going to go to scripts and load files into stack. So what we're going to do is we're going to pick the files we're going to use and then Photoshop is going to put them all into one PSC file for us. So let's go ahead and hit browse. And here is the mockup project folder that you should have downloaded. So for this, I think I'm going to use the red logo and I'm going to hit browse again. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, uh for people and this is totally up to you you get to choose whichever one of these photos you want as long as you just pick one from each category so i'm going to pick this one i'm going to click open hit browse again let's go back a folder products um i'm going to choose the phone okay and one more now i do want to make a quick note um, the, most of these are flat surfaces, right? So what I'm going to show you is going to work pretty well. Now, if you're a little bit more of an advanced user and you know how to play with that transform a bit, um, uh, I would say maybe try using the coffee mug. I'm not going to go specifically on how to do that much transforming in this lesson. Um, but yeah, so there's a little bit more of a challenge for those of you who know some of this stuff in Photoshop already. So let's go back real quick. And the last area I need to pick from is a surface. And we have some different surfaces here. I think I'm going to pick this brick. All right, so now I have all four of my files in here and I'm gonna hit open. And what's gonna happen is it's opening the files and it's sizing the overall file. So just let it do its thing. And you could see everything that it automatically did right here. Um, let me go ahead and close this for a second. And you can see our four layers here. So let's zoom out a little bit. I'm doing, I'm using command minus to zoom out. And then to move this around, to switch to the move tool real quick, um, I use the space bar. So if you hold down the space bar, you get the hand tool and then you can place this wherever you want. Awesomeness. Okay. so. Let's go ahead. Um, right now I have the crop tool up. That's the last tool I had open. So that's what's up right now. I'm going to switch to the move tool by clicking here. You can also hit the keyboard shortcut of V. Now let's go ahead and turn this off for now. So this little eyeball right here will turn off the layer and you guys are about to do a whole chapter or you might have just done it already on layers. So hopefully this is kind of a review, but I'm still going to talk, talk through this as we go. Okay, so I have these photos here, and um, now when you're in the move tool, they do have this auto select. I actually turn it off because I'm old school and this is how I've always used the move tool. So if yours is on, what's gonna happen is that when you click, it's gonna automatically pick whatever um, layer that you're clicking on and moving it over. Now, for me, this gets a little complicated because I, a lot of my files end up having a whole lot of layers stacked on top of each other in the same place, and it doesn't always select the one I like. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move these and I'm going to actually turn that off in just a minute. So I think I'm going to, I want my layout to be like this. I want him on the left and this is totally up to you too. You get to pick whatever layout you want. Um, and this is, we'll see now I'm doing, I'm not doing something I don't even have to do. So what I'm used to doing is right clicking over a place where I want to select the layer and then it'll show me all the layers that are available in that place I just clicked and then I can pick which one I want to move. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off this auto select because it's going to drive me crazy. I already know it. Um, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Now the only problem is, is that it does look like these two are the same width, but I want this to line up with this photo here. So I'm going to add a couple of guides. I'm going to click on the ruler and then drag. Now, if the ruler isn't up, you can hit command R. We'll turn the rulers on and off for you. Okay. So let's get this and pull it on over here. 
Um, and I want to actually pull one down here because uh, this is what's important to me right here is that they line up with this bottom edge. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to select these two layers uh, together. So I'm going to click on one here and holding down the shift or, or command at this point, it doesn't matter. I'm going to click both of them or click the second one and now they're both selected. So now I can go ahead and transform. Now to transform something, another way to think of this is resize something. You go to Command T, you can also go to Edit and Transform here. Um, free Transform is what I'm using. So I'm going to hit Command T and because I have both of these layers selected, both of these layers are now selected to be transformed. So I'm going to click and drag this up until we get to this guide here. And I'm going to hit return. Okay. And so that's my basic layout of what I want. Now, um, it looks like this little border is smaller than this one. So I'm actually going to make sure I'm on my move tool. I can either select it here or hit V and then hit the side button a couple times. All right. That's how I like it. Okay. Um, I'm not going to crop this yet because I'm going to add some text and I'm not exactly sure where I'm going to add it yet. So I'm just going to leave this extra space for now. But what I am going to do is I'm going to add a background, a white background, because it feels a little more finished that way. Um, so right down here, there's this little plus sign. If I click on that plus sign, we get a new layer. I'm going to move this layer to the bottom of my layers because I want the white to be underneath everything. So now I want to fill this with white. There's a couple ways we can do this. I can go to edit, fill. You can also do uh, hit shift and delete and it will bring up the fill dialog box, exact same one. And I can fill it with white, gray, black, a pattern, uh, any color you want. <laughs> the background and foreground colors are um, referring to whatever colors you have here. So I'm going to stick with white and hit OK. And now we have a white background suite. Now, if I don't want to see these guides anymore, I just have to hit command and the semicolon and they disappear. All right. So there we go. We have our basic layout figured out. We have our images resized. Um, in the next video, we'll start adding the logos in.